Hey everybody, thank you for joining us on part two of my bathroom restoration on my 1948 Greyhound bus. So here's a template of the bathroom, starting to work on the countertop for the sink. And here we're getting into some of the sanding and some of the fitment, kind of test fitting the sink and the faucet, make sure everything's going to work before we go ahead and coat it in epoxy, which is what we've chosen to do for this project. And it holds up really well and it looks really good in there. So here you can see we've started to install the plate wall. I had to get up so high before I could install the actual countertop. And it fits in there nice. All the uh, fitment work with the pattern worked out well. Now here you can see we're starting to work on the shower wall. And that's glued together and getting ready to be cut. Got her sanded and cut now and just fitting the diverter and a valve for the wand, the shower wand coming out. And here it is all epoxied up and we finally got it on its first fitment into the shower which uh, I'm really happy with the results there. It really worked out well. Here you can kind of see the diverter and the shower wand installed now kind of in its final place. At this point it's in its permanent location and I won't be removing that again barring some sort of problem. And here you can kind of see the finished product here with the finished ceiling which I'll get into here in a moment. Here's how I kind of started to lay out some of my plates just trying to get a feel for the best colors um, not getting too many states close together I got a good variety of plates to work with so kind of did a little work around like that before I started to install and the first thing I did was painted the back of the wall black just to hide any cracks or plates that didn't overlap. And we've got this section here with some shelves that you can kind of see. I wrapped them as well. You can see that I burned the back of the door. That's the entry door into the bathroom. Just took a torch to the plywood. That uh, turned out pretty good. Here we are finishing up, getting a little further with the plates. And we're getting up the wall here pretty well. Trying to fit in, starting to fit the mirror in, figuring out how that's going to work. That's just an old pickup truck mirror. And you can kind of see the ceiling there. It's really not the final product, but uh, that was my first attempt at it, which I wasn't happy with, so I decided to change it. And so here you can kind of see the plates working up through the wall there in the corner of the shelves. In the final video, I'll show you how we kind of wrap those up. Um, but all in all, I'm really happy with all the extra shelf space in there and the way those plates bent around and it really turned out nice. Here you get a glimpse of how the ceiling finished out. Uh, now we've got the light and the mirror installed. Uh, we decided to go with a tongue and groove burnt wood along this section of burnt pine. And it really turned out good. Matches the rest of the bathroom well. And this is a shot of the bathroom before we started. Just to give you an idea. That's how I finish out the ceiling above the shower. We used metal over there just because it's a wet location. I had to bend this piece of angle iron here, or angle aluminum. And here you can see that the wood is kind of set in there, kind of screwed in place on the ends. Just working on fitment some things. And here you can kind of see it's about wrapped up all the way up. Um, just really happy with the way that ended. And the, the transition between the two looks looks really good. So here you can see the Greyhound logo that I've installed on there. Kind of happy with that. And that's kind of what the final product there is with the logo and everything on it. I'll give you a good glimpse of that. And that actually follows the contour of the roof, which I tried to do to keep the most headroom in this space as I could. And it's pretty roomy in there once you're in there. Stay tuned for part three.